Hey, I'm Coach Colin Castell with Shot Mechanics, and this is NBA Shooting Secrets, Russell Westbrook Edition. All right, so Westbrook has a very unique jump shot, um, and he's got a lot of great mechanics that help his jumper, and he's also got a few mechanics that kind of hurt his consistency a little bit. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go through, talk about some of his great mechanics that help him out, and then we're gonna talk about some things that might um, kind of improve his consistency and his percentage a little bit. So what I want you to do is follow along, think about your own mechanics, and see if you can plug any of these tips in to help yourself out. And also, if you're new to shot mechanics, the number one thing you can do to help your jumper out is click this button right up here to get a free copy of my top three favorite shooting secrets. These are shooting secrets you can plug directly into your game and probably increase your shooting percentage overnight. So with that, let's start with the good. So the first thing that I think makes Westbrook such a great shooter is his confidence. Now confidence isn't a specific mechanic, but it's just as important to your game to hit more jumpers. It's as easy as the more confident you are, the more baskets you're gonna score. Watch this play where he bricks a three, and then the ball gets swung back around on the offensive rebound and he takes the second one without hesitating. A ton of shooters would second guess themselves taking shots so close together, but he realizes that he's open and it's a good shot. So the real question is, how do you get more confident if it's not a specific mechanic? Well, it all starts with practice and then builds from there. The more you practice, the better you get and the more confidence you're gonna have in games. And what's crazy about confidence is it just snowballs upon itself. The more confident you get, the better you play, the better you play, the more confident you get. So start putting that work in and watch how far your game can go. Now, I also love Russell Westbrook's set point. He does a great job of bringing the ball up just off of his forehead and keeping his head straight up and down. This gives him a great shot line and helps the beginning of his release be accurate. One mistake I see players make over and over again is that they put the ball on their forehead for their set point, but their head tilts backwards. Most of the time, this head tilt will give you a two motion jump shot and make it a lot harder for you to hit shots. So make sure you keep your head straight and find that comfortable set point. Now the next thing I want to point out is the elevation on Westbrook's jumper. Sometimes it's really, really good, and then sometimes it can actually hinder his shooting ability. Now how high you elevate isn't near as important as how you transfer that momentum from your jump into your shot. Check out on this shot how Russell Westbrook pops off the balls of his feet and then launches into his jump shot in one fluid motion. He releases the ball before the peak of his jump, allowing for perfect momentum to transfer from his jump into the basketball. It's this transfer momentum that allows smaller and sometimes weaker players to have big time range, guys like Stephen Curry and Kevin Durant. So just make sure that you're releasing the ball before the top of your jump and it's gonna help you out. Now sometimes Westbrook elevates so incredibly high that he releases the ball just a little bit late. Now to the naked eye, it's kind of hard to see, but just a tiny tweak to the timing of his release can cause him to miss short if he's releasing too late. So next time you watch him play, kind of keep an eye out for this and see if he misses his shots short. So long story short, work on the timing of your release along with your lift and see what's most comfortable for you and gives you the best results. Next, let's take a look at his release finger because I think this is something that probably contributes to his streakiness as a shooter. So I noticed that he's a middle finger shooter where he puts his middle finger in the center of the ball. So thus, that should be his dominant finger. Now that's all good, but sometimes on his jump shot, he gets some wrist flexion, which causes the ball to come off of his middle and his ring finger. Now, a lot of the time you can see it slide off of his ring finger when he does what we call a snake bite or where he doesn't hold his follow through, but instead snaps it back as soon as he releases the ball. So next time you're playing, think about holding that follow through until the ball goes through the basket. The snake bite is one of the fastest ways to get a really inconsistent jump shot. Now, while doing research for this video, I found this interesting clip of Russell Westbrook shooting around. He has one of the more strange follow throughs that I've ever seen, and it might be the reason why it keeps sliding off of his ring finger. Check out on his follow through, he leaves his pointer finger a little bit further up, while the other three fingers kind of curl back into almost a fist. I'm wondering if he might think that he's an index finger shooter, and maybe that's the reason why he follows through like this but because he puts his middle finger in the center of the ball, this might be a huge part of his inconsistencies. That's why one of the best things you can do for your jumper is film yourself shooting, and then you can break it down and see what finger the ball's coming off of, and if you need to change it around so that finger's in the center of the ball when you're holding it. That's why I love the free app in the Apple App Store called Up My Game, where you can upload a video of yourself shooting, you can slow-mo, you can replay, you can draw lines on it, and you can really see what's going on. And I do about three free video shot analysis each week, so if you want to, follow me at Shot Mechanics on there, upload your video, and I very well just may review it for you. And as a little thanks for following me, if you upload a video sometime in the next week, you could receive one of four $25 Foot Locker gift certificates I'm giving away. So long story short, the release is incredibly important to your jump shot, just like it's incredibly important to Russell Westbrook. All right, so keep all these mechanics in mind the next time you go to the park or the gym and you're looking to get up jump shots. 
Sometimes just one minor tweak here or there can make the biggest difference in your shooting stroke. Also, don't forget this is a channel for the people, by the people, and we run pretty much every video we do off of suggestions. So leave a comment in the comment section down below and let me know who you want to see next. Um, we can do, you know, great shooters that you want to see their mechanics, and we can also do poor players how we want to fix their mechanics. So go ahead and leave those in the comment section down below, and I'll definitely take a look. And you can hit that subscribe button down below if you want. That way you get all my videos first as soon as they come out. And I put out about four to five each week, and they're going to get you better. All right, again, I'm Coach Colin Castell with Shot Mechanics. Thanks for watching. Splash on. Yeah.